discuss the introduction to semi solid process forms this is a disclaimer for the viewers so semi solid dosage forms these are semi solid preparation in which drug is dissolved or dispersed in a suitable base intended for external use so these are the preparation in which drug is either dissolved or dispersed in a suitable base and intended for external use that is known as the semi solid dosage form advantages of semi solid dosage forms are the probability of side effects are low it is used externally say for example which is applied on to the skin or affected area it is possible to avoid the first pass metabolism local and site specific action of drug on the affected area it is more stable than the liquid dosage form then it is convenient for unconscious patient and it is suitable for the bitter drug so these are the few advantages of the semi solid dosage form moving towards the disadvantages of semi solid dosage form there is no dose accuracy then the stability issues of bases which are used in the formulation of the semi solid dosage form in some of the semi solid dosage form may cause irritation or allergy to the patient then it is bulky to handle it is less stable than the solid dosage form so these are the sum of the disadvantages of the semi solid dosage form the example of semi solid dosage forms like ointment gels pastes and creams let us move towards the ointments so the ointments these are the semi solid greasy preparation meant for external application on to the skin or mucous membrane that is known as the ointments either the drug is dissolved suspended or emulsified in the suitable ointment base so the ointments are the semi solid greasy preparation meant for external application on to the skin or the mucous membrane and drug is dissolved suspended or emulsified in the suitable base moving towards the advantages of ointments ointments can be used as emollient and the protective the handling of ointment it is easier than the liquid formulations or the liquid preparation ointments are chemically more stable than the liquid dosage forms as prolonged contact time between the drug and the application area which improves the efficacy of the ointment it avoids exposure of drug to the other body part and furthermore it is going to avoid the first pass metabolism of drug so these are the sudden advantages of the ointments moving towards the disadvantages of the ointment there is no dose accuracy stability issues of the bases uh, say for example oxidation of certain bases it may cause irritation or allergy to patient it is bulkier than the solid dosage form it is less stable than the solid dosage form and the appearance of ointment and the greasy residue on the skin so these are the some of the disadvantages of the ointment for example fluticasone ointment ip so this is about the ointments moving towards the gels so gels are transparent or non greasy semi solid preparations meant for external application to the skin or mucous membrane for medication or the lubrication that is known as the gels gels are furthermore classified as medicated gels and the non medicated gels or it is furthermore classified as a single phase gel and the two phase gel system advantages of gels are they are easy to formulate than the other semi solid dosage forms like ointment creams it is a elegant non greasy formulation it provide excellent stability and uh, cooling effect the retention time of gel is higher than other topical dosage forms they form a protective layer on the application site they are washable and non toxic in nature 
and they are biodegradable and biocompatible. Moving towards the disadvantages of gels, gels provides the slow onset of action. The water content may increase the chances of microbial or fungal attack in the gel as the percentage of water it is uh, more compared to other semi-solid formulation. Synergies may occur in the gel during the storage period, that is separation of liquid from the gel. Solvent evaporation from the formulation may result in a drying of the gel. The gelling agent may precipitate and result in the salting out. So these are the some uh, disadvantages of gel. For example, externally applied gel, ibuprofen gel, and internal gel like a uh, gelusil gel. Gelusil gel, it is a two-phase gel system, and ibuprofen topical gel, it is a single-phase gel system. This is about the gels. Let us move towards the jellies. So jellies are transparent or a translucent non-greasy semi-solid dosage form. They are less greasy compared to gels used mainly for external purpose. There are some jellies which are also used for the internal purpose. They are mainly used for mucous membrane, for lubrication and uh, antiseptic purpose. It is also used to lubricate the surgical gloves, catheters and uh, rectal thermometers. Vaginal and contraceptive jellies are also commonly used. So here, these are the few examples of the jellies which are present in the market. So glygel, uh, it is a contraceptive jelly, then the trimosan, then valip, it's an oral jelly, then the generic Viagra, oral jelly, and malicra. Let us see the creams. Creams are aqueous or oily viscous liquids or semi-solid emulsions intended for external use. There are so many cream-based cosmetic formulations are available in the market. Either they are aqueous or the oily viscous liquid or the semi-solid emulsions. Moving towards the advantages of creams. Creams are non-greasy and easy to apply. They interfere less with the skin function. It avoids the first pass metabolism, easy to wash the creams as compared to ointments, easy to spread on the skin and it is non-irritating to the skin. So these are the few advantages of the creams. Moving towards the disadvantages of creams, these are creams are prone to microbial contamination or microbial growth. Then uh, preservatives are required to preserve the cream. Then used oils in the cream prone to the rancidification and the oxidation, then slow onset of action and cream requires the frequent application. For example, soframycin skin cream. So this is a soframycin cream which is available in the market. So this is about the creams. Pests. Pests are semi-solid preparations which contains large amount of finely powdered solids made for external application to the skin. It contains mainly starch, zinc oxide, calcium carbonate, and so on. Advantages of PES are it provides a protective coating over applied areas and it is less greasy, penetrating, and macerating. Moving towards the disadvantages of the PES, they are less occlusive than the ointments. Their high porosity leads to loss of moisture from the skin. They are cosmetically unacceptable. Then there may be the chances of staining of the clothes and pests are not easily spreadable. For example, Amlex Xerox pests. Here it's a Absol oral pest and another one is a Bosworth plasto pest. So this is about the pest. Plasters. Plasters are solid or semi-solid masses made by incorporating the medicament in a resinous or a waxy basis that are melted and sprayed onto the suitable backing material. They are intended for external application to provide protection, mechanical support, or for local or the systemic effect. So these are the plaster. For example, Holterol and uh, Versatis 
plaster. So here it's a holterol medicated plaster. It contains the diclofenac sodium and the Versatis uh, medicated plaster. It contains the lidocaine. Moving towards the dressings and bandages. So dressing, it is a sterile pad or piece of material used to cover, protect and promote healing of wounds that is known as the dressings. And bandage, it is a used to hold dressing in a place. For example, elastoplast and elastogel. So these are some uh, marketed preparations of the dressings and the bandages. So elastoplast, it is a non-stick dressing which uh, absorbs and protects. Then the elastogel, which is a absorbent wound dressing and uh, neck care. So here with we have finished the introduction to the semi-solid dosage form. We have discussed the definition of semi-solid dosage form, advantages of semi-solid dosage form, disadvantages of semi-solid dosage form, then further details of the ointment, gel, pads and cream, more specifically the definition, advantages and disadvantages. Hope all of you have understood the semi-solid dosage form. Thank you very much.